Today, we're diving deep into an important topic in the world of infectious diseases, Coxsackie virus. This virus is part of the enterovirus family, and while it may not always be in the headlines, it's responsible for a range of illnesses that can affect both children and adults. Understanding what Coxsackie virus is, how it spreads, the symptoms it causes, and how to prevent it is essential for maintaining good health. Coxsackie virus was first discovered in the 1940s, with two main types identified, Coxsackie A and Coxsackie B. Each type has several serotypes, meaning that there are various strains that can cause different health issues. Coxsackie A is often associated with nonspecific viral infections, while Coxsackie B can affect the heart and other organs. The virus is primarily transmitted through fecal oral routes, which means it can be spread through unwashed hands, contaminated food, or water. It can also spread through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. The virus is most common in the summer and fall seasons and typically affects children under 5. However, adults can contract it as well. Once someone is infected, they may not show symptoms right away. In fact, many cases are asymptomatic, meaning the individual may not even realize they carry the virus. When symptoms do arise, they can vary based on the strain involved. Infections from Coxsackie virus can lead to conditions such as hand, foot, and mouth disease, which is characterized by painful sores in the mouth and a rash on the hands and feet. Other possible symptoms include fever, sore throat, and general malaise. In more severe cases, Coxsackie B can affect the heart and lead to myocarditis, an inflammation of the heart muscle, and in rare instances, it can cause neurological issues such as meningitis. Diagnosing a Coxsackie virus infection can be tricky since its symptoms overlap with many other viral illnesses. Healthcare providers usually rely on a patient's medical history, symptom review, and may sometimes perform lab tests, such as a throat swab or stool culture, to confirm the presence of the virus. Now, let's explore how to manage and treat a Coxsackie virus infection. Currently, there is no specific antiviral treatment for Coxsackie virus, so the focus is primarily on alleviating symptoms. Over-the-counter fever reducers and pain relievers, such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen, can help manage fever and discomfort. Staying hydrated is crucial, especially for children, as they can become dehydrated due to fever or sore throat. Prevention is key when it comes to Coxsackie virus. Practicing good hygiene can significantly reduce the risk of transmission. This includes washing hands thoroughly with soap and water, particularly after using the restroom and before meals. If soap and water aren't available, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer can be a good alternative. Parents should also ensure that children avoid close contact with infected individuals, and any surfaces or objects that may be contaminated should be regularly disinfected. It's worth mentioning that while Coxsackie virus can lead to mild to moderate illnesses, some strains can result in more severe health issues in certain populations, including pregnant women and those with weakened immune systems. In these cases, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional if you suspect an infection is present. In summary, understanding Coxsackie virus is crucial for parents and individuals alike. By recognizing its symptoms, knowing how it spreads, and implementing preventive measures, we can help reduce its impact within our communities. If you found this information helpful, consider sharing it with others and subscribing to our channel for more educational content. Remember, Knowledge is your best defense against viral infections, including Coxsackie virus. Stay healthy and informed.